Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you are interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! Be sure to hit that subscribe button. In this episode, we'll start off with that babysitting job that we took last episode and see where our gameplay takes us. So let's dive in! And we are babysitting Theodore McCullough. Looks like he's playing his VR game, and he has roaches. He just realized he had roaches because he had the VR headset on. Hey, you, believe it or not, but I got a bunch of roaches roaming around my apartment. What the heck? I could really use some assistance, boss. These ones look quite nasty. I'll send my uncle in right away. Here's Uncle Steve, and he's going to deal with the roaches. Spraying his green poisonous cloud. Doesn't seem to be affecting the roaches in the living space. There's a lot of roaches here. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay, we still have roaches in that main living space. I'm probably gonna have to go over here. They seem to be coming from under the counters. Thanks for helping me solve this problem. Theodore is back and he is drinking tea. How many more days do we have on this job? Oh, seems we have a problem with the toilet. I'll send a pro in for the plumbing. All right, he's very happy. Here comes the plumber to fix the toilet in the flooded bathroom. Gloria Weeks needs to pay her rent. She's not paying her rent. Gloria, I've never had a problem with you before. Hey, I have a little favor to ask. I'm a bit short of cash this month. Could I pay you half of the usual rent this week? Fine, but I hope you pay the full amount next week. Okay, it looks like the radiator has broken in this place. So let's see what it says. My heater stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze here. Could you do something about it? Yes, I will send in a pro. Thanks, I can walk around without a scarf on now. And let's see what Gloria Weeks says. Gloria Weeks says, Thank you, I will make sure to get it right next week. All right, Gloria, you do that. Here is the lady who hired us, and she's thinking... She's very happy, she loves it. She loves that we took care of her tenant so well. Overall design in the bathroom, she thinks. She loves it. She loves that we fix the radiator and the toilet. Okay, here's our review from Fionn Church. I don't know how Smitty does it, but I've heard only good things about them from my tenant, Theodore McCulloch. A job well done. I feel guilty for paying them so little. Let's take this $3,200 job, looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. Requirement, total makeover, budget $13,800. Let's accept that job and go over to Dane Street 52. We're gonna be focusing on the walls and decor. Let's have Uncle Steve clean this puddle. I think that's the only thing that needs to be done in here. And it looks like we're probably gonna have to build some walls because I don't see any subdivided rooms. So this should be interesting. Okay, let's begin the renovation. What do they need? They need a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Let's move this over here for now. Put the bathroom right here. Put the door in right here. I will put the bedroom back here. And the door to the bedroom here. As usual, I'm gonna start with the bathroom. The bathroom, they want a laminate they want us to focus on the walls so I'm just going to put in this desert dune dirty floor in the bathroom look I know that some people like that look we're looking for red walls and they want us to focus on the walls so I'm gonna put this wall in the striped wallpaper they need a shower cabin let's work on the shower cabin I'll just put this shower cabin in I'm gonna put in this sink this fancy sink I'll put the toilet over there. We'll give them the trusty pigeon toilet. And they want a toilet brush. Give them a $70 toilet brush since they really want us to focus on the decor. 
and let's find him a better toilet roll holder because they seem to not be liking our $35 toilet roll holder. Let's get off to the bedroom. We need linoleum or carpet and red and blue walls. Well, we've been doing a lot of red lately, so I'm thinking that we're going to focus on blue, but we need a carpet. Let me do this gray carpet, and then I'll just pick a very expensive wall. Uh, we'll put this skyline wall in here. Yay, Gloria, thanks for sending us the money. I'm going to do this corner bed. catcher over their bed. So that's the basic for that. Let's do the kitchen now. They want stone floor and red walls. Well, I'm glad I didn't do red a red bedroom. Stone floors. So I believe this is stone. Marble. So they're going to have marble. It's going to be a cold unit in the front. They want red walls. I suppose I could put these busy walls up because they are the most expensive walls. And I'll put the kitchen area over here. We need a refrigerator. I'm going to give them the uh, $799 refrigerator. I'll just give them the $799 cooker, the cooker near the fridge. Let's see what we got. We got $6,000 left. They didn't ask for a sink, but I'm going to give them a sink. I'll give them this night sink right there. We'll put the night sink right there. Do we have a night cabinet? It's here. This over a little bit. I don't think I can jam another cabinet in there. That's a little bit snug. I suppose I could move the refrigerator over here and then put one of those corner cabinets. These little corner thingies. There. There we go. Okay, so I've met all the required furnishings. They want us to focus on the walls and decor. So we should probably do something else in here. It's sort of bland. Let's do something in the bedroom. Let's give them this cabinet for the room. Put it right there. Give them a light. Do this light. I'm gonna get rid of this. They're gonna complain about it. So let's give them better wall decor. They got the city skyline thing going on here. I suppose I could put in... I'm gonna put in this neon happiness friendly friendship. Thank you, Deborah, for sending me money. And I didn't have to ask you for it. I'm gonna put a television in here or something. Give them this. Oh, I could put this in the other room. Put this in here. Decor. What is this? A room divider grid? That's sort of neat. I'll put that right there. And give them a couch. Give them this $400 couch there near the room divider. I will give them a wall speaker. I will give them a boot rack near the door. I'm going to give them a little table in here in the corner. So if they want to watch the television, they can watch the television. I'm going to give them the sand chair. I have to put that dream catcher back up in there because that's the only wall decor they really asked for. So let's put that dream catcher back up in there. Okay, so we don't have any lights. We need to have some sort of lights in here. I'm going to give them this fancy schmancy light put over here. Fancy schmancy light. I don't really want to block it. If they want to watch the telly, am I doing 2000 something? Clock, we'll give them a basic clock. We'll give them the $49 clock there. I suppose I could move this over here. Yeah, put that there. Move this little guy right there. There's really nothing in this room. Let's put some plants in here. Put the rubber plant in the corner and put a rubber plant in the bathroom. And I'll put a rubber plant in this room there. Move that wall speaker over here. 51%, 64%. So we need more decor in the kitchen. World floor rug. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's terrible. I'm not doing that. Should put this in here? Yeah. I'll put that grey rug in there. Oh, we should probably put some sort of um, kitchen doohickeys. We'll put this hood over the unit and we'll give them a nice toaster. Believe it or not, I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? I could really use some assistance, boss. Yeah, I'll send my uncle in right away. Here's Uncle Steve with the roaches again. All the roaches, all the time. We haven't been in this place in a while, so she's been pretty good with, about the roaches. It's not much you can do if you live in an area where the roaches are already in your foundation. 
when I lived in New York City, it was like that. You know, my apartment was spotless, but we had roaches. Roaches would come in from the neighbor's apartment, come into my room when the exterminator would come, fleeing for their little lives to go into a cleaner place, maybe. So we're back at this place for the renovation. We could probably put a doormat by the front door and do this welcome doormat. Welcome to our place that doesn't have much decor. Uh, put this $500 painting on the wall. Okay, we have $672 left. I said that was, what, 61% in the bedroom? That's 74% in the living room. We should probably put some more stuff in the bedroom. Let's put zombie muffins there. We could put a mirror in this room. Dumbbells in the bedroom. I know that's not decor, but you could put them in there. $365 remaining. I'll put a fancy vase there. $166. Should probably put some sort of rug on the floor. Put another rug there. $106 remaining. I'll put a plant there. $16. What can we get for $16? Not a lot. I think we're ready to turn the job in. And she's going into the bathroom and she's looking at the toilet and says the pigeon toilet is... She's sort of okay with the pigeon toilet. Looking at the shoe rack and says this the shoe rack is... She loves the shoe rack. They seem to love the shoe rack. Last time I put a shoe rack in a place, they love the shoe rack. Looking at the bed and thinks the bed is fabulous. I did pick one of the more pricey beds, looking at the general decor of the place and thinks that it is. She loves it. Victoria French at Dane Street 52. Amazing agent. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and paint roller. Some extra cash for extra work. Required furniture. Uh, items could have been more fashionable. The corner bed. Even though she loved that corner bed, she wanted it to be more fashionable. So we only got four stars for that. Preferred furniture. The category was ignored. I didn't see any preferred furniture. I looked for it. Floors are fine. No issues. Five stars. Walls. No issues. Five stars. Decor. Decor could have used some more work in the bedroom. Yeah, I did focus more on the kitchen area when I noticed that it was lower than the bedroom. The first impression was five stars. We got a bonus of $640. So so our job payout was $3,840. I really would like to get our cash flow up because we can't move on to the next section until I get my cash flow at $12,000. Let's look for another job. We're gonna look for the pricey jobs. Let's do another babysitting job because that is paying us $2,000 at Sycamore Circle. Eight days we have to babysit this person for. It looks like there's two people here. Gloria Weeks. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you for being a better tenant. Beyond Fraser. Good day, Smitty. I hope this message finds you well. I'm supposed to contact you as you seem to be the new person in charge. I really like my landlord, so no pressure. Have a nice day, Fionn Fraser. Hey, Schmitty, I just heard from my landlord that you'll be my new go-to guy for a while. A bit sad as we're getting along quite nicely. Let's hope you won't be a letdown. So this is from the other tenant in the same flat. So we're watching two people, it looks like. Well, she fell down, Fiona Frazier. They are both very unhappy. Let's see if we can speed up the time a bit. We have seven days left to watch these people. And Deborah Buck sent us some money. Excellent, Deborah. Oh, we got rats. Looks like Fiona French is gonna call us. Oh, the other one called me. Yeah, I'll send my uncle in right away. Hey, Uncle Steve, set some rat traps down here. Set some rat traps down. And go over here. Some more traps over here. And put down a trap. And I don't see that it's working. Okay, looks like we have one rat left. Come here, little rat. Come, come, come in the trap. Snapped. I think that's all the rats. I oh, know there's one more here. And yes, we got that success. And they came back and they're very happy. That one's drinking. This one's doing yoga. Okay, so I have four tenants. While I'm watching someone, it looks like I have gained tenants. That's interesting. Okay, they have a problem with their electrical equipment. I'm gonna send my uncle in. And here you go, Uncle Steve, fix that. Gloria, I have a little favor to ask. I'm a bit short of, you're short of cash a lot. Yeah, go ahead. I'll let you do it again this time. Thanks. What are you doing? I know you've been like making a lot of noise. She's probably saving up to move out. That's that's what's going on with Gloria. She's taking her money and trying to save for a deposit on her next flat. She's going to leave me. I, I know it. 
Well, if that's the case, I can probably renovate that place and get in uh, a better tenant. Oh, we got rats again. Wow, I don't know what's going on in this building. We need to hire a major exterminator. Oh, Gloria Week sent us her money. Good. I understand. I'm gonna send a probe in this time because clearly the rat traps didn't work. Here's the exterminator. No, oh, they're using the chemicals that they use on the roaches, but it's like super industrial rat chemicals. Very interesting. And here is the woman who hired us. And she's thinking, how did these women breathe? But she's very happy. Oh, and they ordered pizza. So she thinks that she's she loved our care of her tenants. We unlock some new items. Salt and pepper shakers and some sort of Ringo garden gnome. We have to talk to our tenant and renegotiate their lease. And I'm thinking that this is this is Gloria. Let's look at our review for this. Elizabeth Connor, job well done. I feel guilty for paying so little. I didn't know my tenant, Kiera Wagner, could smile. We got a bonus of $400. We have 2400 for that job. Let's negotiate her lease extension. I will make her an offer. Now I'm going to make her this offer. Oh no, 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 no. We are not playing this game. She's probably going to bail on us. I'll go right there. Oh, she keeps... Okay, she she went up a little bit that time. I'll go down a little bit. I'll go down to $3,760. All right, I'll accept her current offer. We able to get Gloria Weeks to stay as our tenant? I know she's strapped for cash. She doesn't like to pay her full rent, so we I really think she's trying to save up for a new place. So let's find another job. Let's take that over at Lost Creek Road 14C. Begin cleaning. Repair that, Uncle Steve. And then repair this. Put that in our storage. And scrap this because we didn't get anything out of that. All right, looks like they want us to focus on the preferred furniture and the required furniture, but they don't mind the floors. So we're going to have to see what the preferred furnishing is are right away. Because in the past few jobs, I haven't been able to meet the preferred furnishings. And it has affected our scores. Oh, and I have to negotiate for my lease. Okay, so they want a piano. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just put that right there. Okay, so that's been met. I'm going to move this fuse box right there. The fuse box by the door seems to be the best place for it because it doesn't really take up a lot of space. We have 7,000 because I bought that piano right away to get that out of the way. They want tile in the bathroom and they want gray walls. Let's just do a gray bathroom. We'll do some brick. Wow, that looks like a prison. <laughs> I'm just going to do this floor in here. Just be some bland sort of bathroom. So they want us to focus on the required furnishings as well. So I probably should give them a better bathroom situation. I'm going to do a corner sink this time just to spice it up a bit. We'll do our fabulous pigeon toilet. Never seem to go wrong with that pigeon toilet. We need a mirror. Put a mirror there. A plunger and a towel rack. We'll do the plunger next to the toilet. A $60 plunger. We'll do this $49 toilet roll. I'm not going to do the $70 toilet brush, but I'll put the toilet brush there. Yeah. This towel rack. Okay, so I've met the bathroom requirements. Let's go off to the bedroom. Color walls, green walls. Let's just put up our green walls. I'm going to do this forest thing. I could do forest. Just green. My goodness, that's so very green. Okay, we need a double bed. $8.99 bed. Okay, so it looks like they're putting their kitchen in here. So we need a bridge. A little fridge here. They want a kitchen cabinet. We'll do this kitchen cabinet. They want a microwave. We will do the 200. Oh my goodness, we've run out of money. This is just not going to work. I'll put this kitchen cabinet in. They'll complain about it, but that's the kitchen cabinet you're getting, and you're going to get this microwave. So I went whole hog in that bathroom. And you need a refrigerator. This refrigerator is not the best. Suppose I could. No, because if I repaint the walls, it's not going to go back to our budget. 400. Oh, right. Hold on, Deborah. I got to rotate this around. Okay, what does Deborah want? Deborah says, I was wondering if you could upgrade my internet or TV subscription. Sure, why not? That stupid piano. Okay, there you go. 
this small shelf. We might as well do the history books on the top. We are running really low for cash. Do a thirty dollar wall plant. That right there near the microwave. Now we're gonna have to probably go cheap in this room. They didn't really care about the floors. I can swap out the floor. Oh, that's horrible. Oh no. Go to the gray. Probably lost money doing that. Alright, what do we need? Hardwood floors. I'm not gonna go with expensive hardwood floors. They're just gonna have cheap hardwood floors and they're gonna have cheap grey walls, like the cheapest grey walls possible. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so we need two desks. Let me move this piano here. Two desks. We need laptops. This is just so not gonna work. I'm gonna be really hurt. Let's go with these cheapo desks. Cheapo desk. There's no way we're going to be able to afford laptops. I shouldn't have spent so much money on the wall art. Okay, yeah, see, look, two laptops and $95. So what can I do in here? Can I sell this? Sell that. I need that. I need a, we need a towel. Racky doohickey thing. Yeah, see, we're, we're really hurting for cash now. So maybe I don't need to buy the $65 plunger. I can get the $35 plunger. I can get the $25, whatever that is. They're really not going to be happy with this, but I have to nickel and dime my stuff right now. I can't buy anything. I'm going to sell this. I'm sorry. Maybe I can put our... Um, I could probably put our piano in there. I know I wanted to... S I failed. I failed? What did I fail? Oh, she left me. Okay, that's great, because now I can renovate my flat. I know I wanted to save this grand piano for our apartment, but I wasn't a I'm not going to be able to reach what they want me to do with the preferred furnishings. So I'm just going to put this in here, and maybe I can get back to giving them better better decor and stuff in here. Okay, so we need a cabinet. I'm going to give them this cabinet right there. I need a shelf. This shelf over here. Oh, that's really nice. Give them that. Small decoration. I'll do the key right there. Looks like we've met the requirements, so now I can go back and fix... I can go back, back and fix that bedroom. That bedroom looks pretty bad. Better cabinet. This cabinet is not the best cabinet, but it's a better cabinet. Okay, and then I can give him a better microwave. Better microwave. Wasn't I going for the $849 bed before? A better bed. $3,000. Let's take a look at how we're reading there. 24%. That's not that great. Well, how are we doing in the other room? 50%. Okay, so the bedroom is really sad, and we need to do something about it. I could do this horrible honeycomb shelf. Okay, that is so but maybe that'll get us a better rating. So we need books, life's advice books here. We should put some lights in this place because there is zero lights. What is this? It's an LED strip. Ooh, yeah, we can do that. LED strip, LED strip right there. We can do an LED strip right here. And one right here. We can put one in the bathroom. Just do all the LED strips. Very good. Put another plant in here. I'm gonna upgrade back to the things I had in there. I'm not gonna change the sink. We do need to do something in this bedroom. Maybe we can put some sort of wall painting. Let's just say hate. We're not putting hate in here. There's no hate in this bedroom. Put some more wall plants in here. I'll put a wall plant here. What does this say? This says something is blocking the path. What is blocking the path to you? You were fine before. Is it, is it the LED light? Yes, it was the LED light. All right, let's see what the decor is. We're 55% in the bedroom and 53% in the office. So we should probably do some sort of something, something in here. Work hard, play hard. Yeah, let's put that there. Work hard, play hard. Put that there. Let's put in these drapes. 
You know, I went from having no money and having to put up our personal piano to now we have money and I can just slap up decor. I'm going to put these blinds in here and we'll just put these $85 black. Oh, this, this was what I wanted to do. This fancy towel rack. I could probably put toilet paper on that towel rack. Yeah, let's put some spare toilet paper up there. $1,288. You know, they're going to complain about these desks, so I'm going to give them better desks. These desks? Yeah, that's better. I like those desks better. I mean, they are IT specialists. They would probably invest in their own desks. That is all sorts of wonky. Let's rotate this desk. We'll put it at an angle. Leave it on the edge. Yeah, we're just going to do this rotating desk thing. Hi. I can look at you. You can look at me. We have $788 left in our budget. I'm going to put a standing fan right here just to cool off the room to check how our decor is doing. So bedroom is still lacking. Okay, you have a situation. I'll send the pro in. Oh, I wonder if I can put this in here. Small decor object. Plants. All the plants. Plants in here. Did I put an LED light in here? I did not put an LED light in here. Put an LED light over the bed. Okay, we have $533 left. I could put a certificate in here. Okay, $413. Road home in the bedroom. $105 plant there. So we still have $58. Okay, how are we doing on a decor situation? $75. Yeah, we can do one more thing in this room. We could put another plant in here. Yeah, plants make everything better. Let's put a plant right there. Oh, thank you, Gloria. Thank you. You're my only tenant now. I'm going to have to focus on getting us a tenant next time. I'm delivering this job for these I, this IT apartment. She's going into the... She's looking at the microwave, and she thinks the microwave... She loves the microwave. I'm glad I upgraded that microwave. She's looking at the shades, and she thinks the shades... She's not really happy with the shades. She loves the drapes, though. She didn't ask for the shades. That was just me adding stuff. Her overall design and decor, she loves it. Let's see what our job review was. Flora Mendoza, Agent Smitty is the one you can trust. I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. Wired furniture. Items could have been more fashionable. But the two coal armchairs, we get four stars for that. Preferred furnishings. Because we use our personal grand piano to meet her preferred furniture requirement, we got five stars. Floors were five stars, even though we used cheap floors in the front room. Walls, no issues. Five stars. Decor, five stars. They could have used more decor in the office. Well, we knew that that was a 61% when I looked at our decor for the office. First impression, five stars. We got a bonus of $800, so we got $4,800. I'm going to end our episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey. It really helps us out. Have a great week. Hope to see you soon.